Hi guys, this is AC Game or back with a new video on Hero Contori. So in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is going over a quick guide on how to beat harder story content. For example, the normal stages or the hard stages. So I'm going over two different teams that you guys could run. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys actually like this video. Stay tuned for more content on Hero Contori. As you can see, I managed to get my Van Kel all the way to 5 stars. So stay tuned for a, a showcase on her. I really do like her art. And as you can see by the animation with the flames, I really really enjoy this character in terms of like designs and stuff like that anyways let's get right into it so we go over to season 1.5 so we recently got a brand new stage with the normal one i believe um so i will go over normal hard stages in today's video the reason why i decided to make this right now is just because the um, event for the hard stage will be going away very very soon so i need to go ahead and complete some hard stage so i thought it would be best time for me to do a quick guide on beating harder content uh so let's go so this is one team i run this is just like a pure dps team i guess uh actually no it's not this is not pure dps team if i wanted to do a pure dps team i would do it like Okay, we got Mama Sheep over there. We do this. Um, I don't think I will need you. I mean, I can increase his attack just a little bit more. I guess I'll do this instead. Um, actually, we do this. There we go. So that is one team you can run for harder content in the game. That team focuses on damage. So you might not be able to freestyle this stage. So you have to rerun the stage multiple times. So this stage, just to deal DPS damage, complete the stage within three turns. So how do you do that? You do this. Um, because in harder content, you can predict, you already know which type of skills you will be able to use straight away. So this will be the best option for you. You do this, do that. Um, do with this now with this you're trying to boost up your king dark but after this the next character who would get boosted up with will be the um dual character so in hard stages you don't really need to run two like main damage damage dealers you can run one main damage dealer and the rest of the characters you add will be supports to increase the damage so i have ramashiba over here to give some what's it called again um to do some absolute attack i got him over here just to increase his attack and then I got her to increase skill. So that's how I do stages, to just buff up my King Dark. And then the next turn, the person who I'm gonna focus on to deal damage will be the dual character. As you can see with this skill over here, it boosts her attack by 30% for two turns. So the next turn, she will be the one getting this absolute buff instead of King Dark. So she perfectly works well. So we're gonna do this, boost some of that. Hopefully my teammates don't die. So most of my characters are all like triple S, or like they have skills that will make sure that they do die um i think i made a mistake actually now that i think about it now that i think about it let's go let's do that again we're gonna rerun it again you think kunu technically die and his passive will kick in so you won't be able to do his skills so what you want to do is use the skill first of all then we do this then mama shiba over here this and then we go i could use this third chain but just to save mana we're not gonna do that so this is perfect attack boost thank you and that's what it's done for so it's, it's gonna die but his passive is gonna kick in so we've got that skill boost over there now mama shiba should both buff up my king duck oh no she didn't she buffed up the wrong unit okay that was planned completely wrong okay we're gonna do that again now that i know this is not gonna happen we're gonna switch position with king dark so if your king dark is the one with the higher attack stats and you know for a fact mama shiba daisy will buff him then put him over here but because i know it's queen no name instead i'm gonna put her over there so if you guys are wondering who does more dps damage between king dark or queen no name and white i would say they're pretty much equal queen dark is more like reliable in terms of damage in my opinion but um not too much difference in my opinion but it doesn't really matter so we do this um actually we buff this up even more to increase the attack so she's going to deal a ton of damage with her ability maybe we will be able to do like a two turn clear we'll never know so there we go we got the buff we got the skill buff over here then we get a 30 percent buff as well perfect and now mama shiba is going to help out there we go and now the amount of damage she should be able to deal it should be like a huge amount so let's see okay she was nearly able to kill the first two on top um but we still have two units at the bottom who can actually deal more so with this one i don't know who's going to get buffed up so we're going to do this instead i don't really need to use her so to save mana i'm not going to do that 
and then we're gonna do this so this should be fine so anyone who gets buffed up actually no we do this first then we can guarantee that one of those units will get buffed up and then we do this next so this should be like a free turn clay if everything goes well we're gonna switch um opponent who we're targeting king dark not king dark um you think coon dies that doesn't matter as long as everyone else survives king dark did a bit of damage that's fine and then can we be able to clear this yes we did so there we go so two turn clear however we won't be able to get three stars with this team just because units did die so we're going to leave and go to the stage we just did right now so as you can see five or more heroes survived we were not able to do that so what we're going to do with this is uh, to make this a safer team we're going to take this out we don't really need to focus on dps in this stage we're going to do this instead and then a safer unit will be him and then we're going to have this over here i'm going to switch positions like this so perfectly safe team over here uh let's take a look at the ca uh, commanders we're going to use so with your commander if you guys are skeptical about your team winning or your team are not really leveled up completely you can go ahead and use this commander over here because if you take a look at the second one create a shield for all allies with 35 percent of maximum HP for two turns so if you guys are skeptical about your team surviving you can use that but because i know my team will survive i'm going to use this character over here um, commander instead and we're going to go like this a safer option safer team now why is this a safe team it's because of Baylor Yama. Baylor Yama is guaranteed a taunt when all the allies survive or four to five allies are available so we're going to make sure that none of our other teammates get attacked besides Baylor Yama. and this is perfect because just in case his taunt isn't like 100 percent we can still have a over here to taunt other units then we're going to have some hp to make sure that the hp can be recovered next turn so taunt i believe everyone got taunted perfect so there we go um i probably should have brought the heals a little bit early just to make sure it doesn't da take any damage but that's fine as you can see because both of them can taunt each of them will like separate the damage but everything should be fine and eventually this will be like a fast clear you can also o to this so with to o to this you just do that uh to make sure everything's simple we'll do that as well do this um we'll leave the first thing we'll leave this one as well then we can do this so i guess we're just going to run oto now the issue with oto is the fact that beta Yama won't be able to like taunt first of all because the ai will use his last well second to last and then as you can see most of your units are already getting attacked so not a good thing to do so it will be better to not use oto and use beta Yama first automatically yourself and then yeah none of your teammates will get damage at all but with um, pure green erin here healing up my teammates it should be fine so make sure i don't make that same mistake we're going to use beta Yama. we're going to heal uh because i don't like the two other units at the back still being able to get damage should we do this as well uh there we go so yeah ggs i think i'm gonna focus on this one at the back actually yeah he didn't get taunted not many units got taunted but thank you to pure green not pure green area to prime king yuma we were able to get a taunt with the other characters there we go should be ggs very very soon one unit died and uh, now we can clear this off i don't have bail Yama, so we can do this and uh, we're going to do this actually to make sure no, no no other units dies now the issue with this is if king dark or my dual characters do get damaged they will die they literally will die so i need to make sure this doesn't happen so i should actually target her that's fine and get the hills done to my Baylor Yama. Okay, yeah, I knew it. Uh, we're about to die. So, yeah, the mistake I made was with the Oto, but um, luckily my units still have a little bit more HP and everything is GG's. So, we would have nearly died with that, but we eventually will be able to get that three star kill. There we go. So, GG's match completed. So, this is how you clear harder content in the game. You have two different teams. One team to clear it within three turns and another team to clear it safely with all your units surviving. Bailey Yama is going to be a must if you want to guarantee yourself a ton. Then you also have pure Prime King Yuma over here to guarantee the taunt as well. Then you have your King Dark to deal damage, pure Green Erin for heals and her for sub damage as well. Um, you can also do this in your normal team because I don't want to make this video too long. You just do this. Uh, so this is what I could do with my safe team over here, Bader Diorma, making sure he has the skills to do the second chain. Now the problem with normal stages is the fact that your skills that you that is available to you is basically based on RNG. So if you don't have your Bader Diorma second chain available, it might be hard for you to clear this stage. 
you still have prime king yuma over here that can safely um protect everyone now if you want to make this much more safer because king duck is quite squishy you, if he does take damage in the first turn and his hp goes zero and he procs his immunity you're going to understand that within like the next few turns he probably will die so you might want to take him off and put a safer dps character so maybe her because she has that um, shield that she can bring to herself every like time she gets hit so you can do that instead but she doesn't do that much damage you can also have a um where is she at you can have this just to make it a little bit safer but it's going to take you a longer turn for you guys to clear this stuff so yeah that's how you clear harder stage harder story stages in the game hopefully you guys find this very very enjoyable and helpful it's been your boy ac gamer stay tuned for more content on hero Kansari, and i'm out